minutes after this program commenced. And um, I immediately called him to scold him and uh, to let him know that this was important enough for me to be physically present, not uh, being present by electronic means. Because uh, Peter, as uh, Professor Shibajo and um, MKM have both admitted, is a very special person and is friends to all. I mean, I joined the faculty at the same time as um, Unifat Bemi, Professor Shibajo, uh, Bode Johnson, um, in 1981, this was signed up in 19, at the beginning of uh, 1981. And we met Peter along with um, MKM and our Kalu. So they effectively held our hands and introduced the faculty to us. Peter in particular became such a close friend. He has been involved in most things all of us were involved in. He celebrated with us, he's rejoiced with us. Uh, MKM talked about his wedding. We're all there and um, I still have a photograph which we took together and uh, which I, I will always cherish. Many years after that, Peter was in Benin for my wedding and uh, another important occasion in my, in, my in my family. Peter, in fact, is a special favorite of my mother <clears throat> because um, anytime she has the opportunity, she insists on sending him a uh, yam that is only grown in Edo State, in Benin, actually. It's called Ikmen. It doesn't grow anywhere else. And Peter loves it. And um, since um, he's been outed as a cul culinary expert, um, she has always reached out to him on that level. And anytime he has opportunity, he's always been uh, a visitor to our home. So this is a great day, Peter. And... Um, all I can say is congratulations. Well, Professor Mo said something about the color of your hair. I guess that's just uh, it's a blessing that you've managed to retain youthful looks. But anyway, one of our favorite musicians, uh, Mighty Sparrow, has always said, <clears throat> age is just a number. And um, for me, Peter, you're a young man, and um, I wish you the very best. And I wish you many more years in joy, happiness, fulfillment, and in good health. So, of course, I'm still going to catch up with you, and I'll find you for not allowing me attend this occasion in person. God bless you.
and the way you have sowed into people's life, I believe that uh, it's time for you to reap bountifully. And by God's grace, the harvest shall be great. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you, Mr. Prof. I will ship it on. We appreciate you, sir. And uh, we also want to note that you refuse to say everything. Because uh, the honorary has said you just do one tenth of what you know. Thank you very much, sir. Professor Oyu Lowo Oyewo, SEN, Honorable Attorney General of uh, Oyo State, is currently in Ibadan. On loan. On loan. But uh, we note that he's still on record here as one of us. And uh, it's my pleasure to invite him to say a few things about the honorary of today, Professor P.K. Fogham. Professor Odio, sir. Uh, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, let me stand on the existing protocol. And uh, uh, before I greet my brother, Monsieur Pierre, felicitations. Uh, indeed, it was just last month, I believe, that uh, I think it was Abiola that brought it to my attention that Professor Fogan will be retiring. And I said, no, it's not true. It is not retiring. Where is he going? So immediately I called him. I said, Pierre, they say you are retired. Where are you going? He said, you this young man. You see me, are you with are <laughs> Because I've been keeping your company. You think you are retiring at the same time. And it dawned on me that uh, my brother and friend, my neighbor, uh, uh, is going to be officially uh, rotating out of service, uh, but I believe you, you're still going to be around because that is part of the privilege of service. When you have served very well, you just don't go out like that because, the, of course, uh, there are those who retire and are tired, and there are those who retire and still have energy. One of the things that has been acknowledged is the energy that you have. Uh, in fact, well, like uh, Ulu 70, whenever Pierre is passing by my door or by my house, he will shout my name, Oyoye. And sometimes in my sleep, I'll be wondering who is shouting my name. And eventually, I'm not a morning person. I decided to do my own by, you know, copying. It's a very healthy habit. Initially, it was very difficult to walk around the whole campus. But each time I discourage, I get encouraged by the fact that Pierre is doing it. So let me also push on. And it became doable. And as a result of that, every now and then when I come uh, to the campus, I, I, I definitely will go on a walk around the whole campus. And that is an inspiration that I gained from my brother and friend, Pierre. Uh, like a lot have been said, about you know him, uh, of course the vice president uh, Professor Momodu Kazim Momodu, and uh, most immediately uh, my brother uh, Professor Taiwo Shikuta has said a lot. Uh, Pierre, the retirement of Pierre represents to me like that, just like that of uh, Professor Agoma before him, the closing of a very golden age, where people, you know, had integrity, unquestionable integrity in what they do. They brought devotion, selflessness, sacrifice. You know, when people come to me here in Ohio State to ask for uh, support and all that, I tell them, in case you don't know, I belong to an endangered species of those who have given their life to serve in this country. And I believe that there should be a red cross for those who have served and given themselves. And I, I put on my brother the medal of red cross for giving of his life, of his, you know, uh, everything. Pierre is such a wonderful person. Uh, words cannot capture 
uh, what it represents to us. Uh, in fact, Pierre doesn't understand Yoruba, but he likes the sound of it. And he likes the sound of it, not only in the spoken, but in the proverbs. And each time we are together, he will tell me, we are give not me one Yoruba proverb to explain the thing. And I will supply it for him because he enjoys uh, the Yoruba language. Whatever anybody might say, whether I do or whatever, there is a Yoruba man at heart. <laughs> so I don't know about uh, FK, about the rest of them, but I know that Pierre enjoys the Yoruba language, he enjoys the Yoruba tradition, uh, the Owambe, the dancing, and all that. And just this weekend, we had a good time dancing together with class of uh, 83, the flagship uh, class. And uh, I still have the video of him because I had to make that video. I said, these steps that Pierre is giving, they are quite energetic, you know? And uh, Pierre, uh, 70 looks good on you. And seriously, I look forward to being 70 and look as good as you because uh, you redefine, you know, 70 as an age where you don't look like if you are working with walking stick or all the parts are falling apart and all the hair, are, you still have your full hair. Don't mind uh, Professor Momo pulling your leg about the color of the hair. The full hair is there. If the hair was not there, you would be, you would be rubbing this on it. <laughs> it's called grooming. And you look well-groomed, uh, you know. Uh, on a very uh, serious note, Pierre is somebody that is so, so committed to his friends and gives of himself selflessly at all times. And in the area of academics, is is an exemplary teacher who is dedicated and very, very, you know, uh, uh, considerate of the plight of students. He, he gives his notes, he makes complete notes, uh, even before we were forced to do that. And then it comes to class to deliver it in a way. And even when the students are slack, uh, he, he are, he's very accommodating in, in so many ways that, uh, you know, uh, it, it's very heartwarming to see the area of people who have responded both physically and virtual to have the likes of the vice president, Desmond Gobadia, uh, MKM, uh, Professor Mo and Pastor and uh, Professor uh, Mo will be here with us. Uh, it's a testament to how he has sown uh, seeds of love. You know, one, one of the things that I have always learned uh, is expressed in the Latin maxim, Omnia Vince Lamont, love conquers all. And that is the, the message of Christ Jesus. Uh, he says, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples. If you have love for one another, there is no doubt about it that my brother Pierre is a disciple of Christ. He has love for one and everyone. And on this occasion of retirement, I think it's uh, just a closing of the former chapter of your relationship with the faculty. It's the opening of a new vista of leaving in sound health, uh, a bit unregulated and unregimented, but equally productive. And I know that you still have a lot to give. Well, uh, we thank God for your life because, uh, you know, like the Yorubas, we say, we know that you are a good person. Uh, in this instance, I'm a fair because you are a Nigerian, uh, and I know the process is on, which will reach completion. Uh, I know that uh, we will see more and more of you, not only personally, but also in the faculty, because I know the faculty will still call on you in some one area or the other to serve. Uh, I, I wish you a great, great, great life ahead of you. Uh, in fact, I believe that uh, the Bible says that uh, the glory of the latter uh, is going to not be comparable to what you are going to be seeing uh, as God will favor you in so many areas of your life as you have sown in your, in your life unto the life of others.
you will reap bounteously, and the joy of the Lord will be your portion. Uh, I was quite, you know, encouraged at the last gathering that we had when Professor Agbede was telling the students about the relationship he has built with them. I know that the relationship you have built with your students, uh, you reap more and more of it. Uh, Pierre is a member of my family. Even just last week, he was conversing with one of my sons. And uh, that's what he is. He's such a wonderful person. And one attribute that has not been mentioned is the secret that Pierre has to communicate with people far below his generation. When you see young, 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 very young children, I've always observed within two minutes of meeting one two-year-old or three-year-old baby, Pierre understands the language of, you know, young children, and he will make them, you know, uh, to be attracted to him. Uh, so I know that you, that you bring joy to people, uh, the joy of the Lord will be your strength. Uh, your strength will not dwindle. It will continue to increase from day to day. The power of the Lord shall be av available to you at all times. And I said, I said, Believe that the Lord has said our prayers over you. Uh, many, many, many more celebrations of goodness, of mercies and grace and joy of the Lord uh, will be unfolded uh, unto you. Merci beaucoup. of uh, Professor EMC Bamboche, but she will please kindly allow us a few more minutes to get back to you. Uh, Professor Smith is online. I want to invite Professor Imran Oluwale Smith, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, to say a few words about Professor Foga. Thank you. Professor Smith, sir. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can, sir. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Owe. Yes, it's a pity I've been battling with uh, my video here. Uh, but I think that even without my face, people can hear me. And uh, I'm happy that um, this afternoon has come uh, when we deem it uh, necessary and fit to um, celebrate our own Professor uh, Peter Fogan. Well, um, I got to know Professor Fogam as a student. Uh, I, I think I was in uh, part two, year two or year three, when he came in and all that. Even though uh, he didn't teach me or he didn't take me tutorials, um, I could feel from colleagues the kind of person that uh, uh, Professor Fogam actually uh, was meant to, to, to be, or what he meant to my friends, colleagues, and those around me. Uh, um, I came into Faculty of Law uh, much, much later, I think in 1999. And the Professor Fogham, I knew many years back, um, did not change in terms of attitude, in terms of uh, friendliness, in terms of what you expect from a good-natured individual. Now, um, the first thing which I think will strike anybody is that, <clears throat> is that uh, Professor Fogham would always be a smile, somebody, an inviting smile, infectious smile, which actually depicts him as an amiable person. Now, you with uh, Professor Fogham, there is no dull moment, no dull moment at all, no dull moment. Um, just a few days back, um, an ex-student of our faculty uh, met me somewhere, and he said to me, I learned that Professor Fogham would be retiring uh, very soon. I said, no, not very very soon, uh, just next week, and they uh, will be uh, actually hosting him. And uh, he said to me, yes, would I be allowed to come? Because I have so many things, so many good things to say about this gender. I said, leave that, you are not invited. But I can assure you 
that um, somebody like me, who was a student, when Professor Fogan joined the Faculty of Law, will do it for you. Now, the first quality, which is very significant, is that Professor Fogan is very caring. Professor Fogan is very caring. And I mean, I mean a, lot, <clears throat> a lot has been said about him. And that happens to be one of the good qualities in him. Uh, the second thing, which I think, uh, you know, needs to be mentioned, is that Professor Fogam is ready to assist you. He's ready to assist you. He listens to you. He even would advise you, will call you and advise you when you are going astray. He will put you right. He will call you into his office, talk to you about certain things. And if you have a listening hair, then of course you are bound to change. Another thing which is also very, very uh, significant of Professor uh, Fogam is, uh, is that he keeps relationship with staff and students. Good relationship, healthy relationship with staff and students. And I must let you know that to a large extent is my confidence. You know, I will go to him you know, with any form of challenge, either academic or social, and he would give me his advice willingly. Now, it is not common to have a senior colleague listen to you the way he does. And I give it to him. I give it to him. Now, again, Professor Fogam has contributed immensely to the development of that faculty. You know, he has served in so many capacities and so on and so forth. And I think in this, uh, on this occasion, I can only wish him well. Uh, he is a man who is detribalized, he politicized, and uh, he's uh, never a controversial person. You know, people will think that he's an introvert, but I disagree. He's an extrovert but with a kind heart. And he has his way of relating with people. He's a very peaceful person. He, he, he doesn't grudge anybody. He, and he doesn't get angry. No matter what you do, he will just walk away, you know, and then call you um, after some time to talk to you or to protest about certain attitudes or behavior of yours. So, um, I am very happy for him. Um, I wish Professor Fogam uh, good luck, and I pray that um, his future endeavors will be filled with abundant blessings uh, more than he can ever uh, imagine. I want to wish him a blissful retirement, and I want to say that just like our other senior professors, uh, this is another professor emeritus uh, in waiting. I wish you well, Professor Fogam. May he be well with you, with your family, and uh, you know, uh, would uh, be looking forward to you coming back to the faculty, at least to to um, give more to that faculty faculty that has made you what you are. Thank you very much. I, I wish you well and bye for now. <coughs> with us at this time. Um, we are far behind time. And uh, we want to try to wrap it up very well. I appreciate to wait. Now Prof I'll take the stage. Yes, thank you. Can you hear me? All right, I can hear you. Yes. Good evening. I adopt the existing protocol. I'm not going to stand on it. I'm lightweighted, but if I stand on existing protocol, I'm sure that I will crush it. So I adopt it. It's so nice to be here at the bowing out of my teacher, Professor Fogan. Professor Fogan came in 1980. 
and I'm going to leak out some secrets. When he came in, and we too, we came in, I belong to the 1980-83 set. So Professor Fogan and Asset came in at the same time. He was one of those lecturers that we were wondering, the same with His Excellency, the Vice President. We were wondering, what are these young people at that time? Because many people have said that at 70, Professor Fogham is still looking so young. At that time, Professor Fogham was looking, Mr. Fogham then, PK, was looking so young. And we were wondering what the likes of uh, PK Fogham, um, His Excellency, Professor Yemi Oshibaju, what they were doing in the faculty, you know, to us at that time. And we had people calling him PK and secretly we were calling PK, but ne not to him. But you can imagine what was happening when we had a contract teacher like Professor Adeogun, we had other old lecturers, but this young lecturer now came to class and took us tutorials in contract. Why sometimes we will not really understand what Professor, a contract lecturer, Professor Adeogun was telling us, but because of the way he speaks his English, you understand what I'm saying? Afterwards, Professor Fogan will come down and break down everything to us in tutorials. And we'll be wondering, was that all what that man was saying, what that professor was saying? And afterwards, you could approach Professor Fogan at every time, at any time. And Professor Fogan has a way with students. Professor Fogan, God bless your heart for making us, even at 100 level, to even love contract to love some courses we could approach Pro professor fogan at any time and many people have said so many things about professor fogan professor fogan is very caring he maintains relationship even with each and every one of us professor fogan will just say yeah me see and i'll say my teacher and professor fogan will always celebrate your achievements that shows that he has a good heart. And when people were saying that they never knew Professor Fogan was 70, just a few days ago, last Saturday, Professor Fogan was with us in the class. He's one of those that we cherish, that we invite, and come and see Professor Fogan dancing. It was later on, Professor Fogan told me that he's going to be 70 and he's going to be leaving the university. I could not believe it. With Professor Yewo, Professor Yewo, when you are 70, I know what you will do because all the break dances that you were doing that day was so amazing. And I want to wish you, my teacher, I want to wish you all the very best. I hope you are not just leaving Nigeria because we still want to see more of you. I wish you all the very best. I wish your family all the best. We love you. On behalf of the 1980, 1983 class, I want to say a very big thank you to you for making us to settle down. You know, when we were telling you on Saturday that Professor Fogham, you made us, whatever you, we are, the teachers in the University of of Lagos Faculty of Law, those who taught us, they were real teachers. God bless your heart, teachers. We love you, Professor Fogham. Go well. Please don't forget. Make sure that you remember us. And at our next reunion, Oluyole 2023, please, we look forward to having you wherever you are. Please come. God bless your heart, Professor Fogham. We love you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Prof. Uh, I want to quickly recognize some people. One of us exported to judiciary recently, Justice Yomi Olukolu, is online. We recognize you. Dr. Awonifa is here with us. We recognize you. And Dr. Adeumi also here with us. We recognize you. Thank you very much. It's expected that uh, each person will say something, but we don't have that time again. But what we have improvised is to say that everybody should say at least one word, some adjective. So the microphone will go around, just one word, the man is good, or maybe a phrase, excellent, good teacher, and the rest of them. Please look for the word. Don't mind if you have to repeat what somebody has said. That is your way of seeing it. Many people can see the same way. While we are arranging for
the toast. So please begin to serve the drinks for the toast, and we'll do that. Excellent. Organ As he said, Chodi, I think I should, but organized. Yes, yeah, okay. Lower boy. Young Papa. Pique. <laughs> A friend, brother, and boss. A an excellent mentor. Coffee at MIB. Schmicks. An honorable man. It's grandpa. What is it? Yeah. It's grandpa. Uh, grandpa. High principal. A great man. Women and kind. Upright. <laughs> a friend indeed and in need. A man of integrity. He's a motivator and a very honest man. Humble and kind. Um, very kind-hearted, and I also described him in the words of Jesus Christ and in an Israelite in whom there is no guile. Puff is approachable and really friendly. Kind and humble. Kind and generous. My humble boss. A liberal minded man. Quintessential scholar. My benefactor. Humble and approachable. An approachable father. A wonderful man. Uh, kind and um, he has a very good sense of humor. He's a father to me. Great teacher. Exemplary personality. Please serve the drinks. An achiever. University of Lagos Nunga Ambassador, who got us the hosting right on 8th of June, 2018. An anger. Thank you, sir. My daddy. Humble to the call. Kids. The man who has paid his due and is due for pay. Thank you very much. Professor what do you say? One word. Affable. Affable. And I say it's Frank. Frank. Thank you very much. Put hands together for yourselves. I want to say that we still have the opportunity to say much more at the cocktail. Now, very quickly, it's time for us to give the toast to the honoree. And the person who will do this for us is no other person than Dr. Wale Olawoye, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I think the vice president is still online um, and I would also stand on existing protocols. I, I think it's an absolute delight for me and indeed a privilege uh, to be proposing a toast uh, to 42 years of excellent service to legal education in Nigeria. Um, uh, I always get emotional when I have to talk about Professor Foga. Um, indeed, he's, he's a great man. And all, all I will do in, in, in proposing this toast 
um, is to rely on all the adjectives that I've heard here this afternoon and to say that this is a toast to a man of candor, a toast to a man of high principle, a toast to a kind-hearted man, a toast to a good-spirited human being, a toast to an easy good man, and self a selfless man, a genial man, an amiable man, a simple man. Prof, uh, the faculty will miss you. And uh, we would pray that even in your retirement, you will continue to be stronger in good health. And our prayer is that your coast will continue to be widened uh, in Jesus' name. I, I think Mr. Shito has already done this part uh, uh, of singing uh, for his a jolly good fellow. But I will just say that we should all now raise our glasses to toast. Yes, Prof, you sit down. To toast Professor P.K. Fogam. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. Oh, and so say all of us. And so say all of us. Cheers. Yes. Now we want to want to make quick progress. We want to make quick progress. Please, can you please sit down? We still have a few items on the agenda. We have gifts. For President Fogham, gifts. Yes. May I request that we all return to our seats? We have gifts for President Fogham, and this is the time to present the gifts. Can we please return to our seats? Please, please return to seat. We have gifts for President Foga, and uh, there's a gift from his department. Okay. So, but the faculty also has a gift for him, and and I, I want to invite. The former dean of faculty, Professor Akin Ibida Bobe, to please come and present this gift from the faculty to the honorary of today, Professor P.K. Fogam.